by yourself and you learn to shut off the world and then you're only watching the movie it's a great movie but if you on your phone when you're texting you talk hello welcome to ok solution so today let's talk about how to be alone and the importance of being alone understand that you're here for a limited amount of time and every day you're busy with your job all kinds of stuff that has to happen to be alone meaning that's time for you you can learn to cook you can do arts and craft you can do gardening you can do anything you want because you do it for yourself you know but if you're um, with a friend uh, you hang out you do great things but it, it's fun but on the surface it's sometimes time wasted because your, your friend is like just hanging out uh, and then the end of that it's just a good time but then sometime later when you have a lot of it you understand like oh I hadn't have a time to uh, read a book or do this 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 because to be alone sometimes to be free free from all the burden free from all your friends free from anything that is normal day life and a lot of times you're alone you, you get freaked out because you're so bored there's nothing going on and you used to be like on a drama on a road um, stuff's happening it keeps you occupied but when it keeps you occupied it's taking up your time and so time flies by very fast it's like boom the end of the day it, it, it's gone you know what I'm saying it's over so if you want to learn how to be alone you have to learn how to be peaceful and to be peaceful you have to learn how to organize yourself organize your schedule organize your life so when you have everything organized the way you want it then it becomes peaceful it's kind of like having a, a busy schedule and you don't know how to organize it so it's um it gets frustrating you know a lot of mess going on you don't know what time for your client you don't know when to do this and that but if you organize your schedule well enough you know exactly what's going to happen what's going to happen what's going to happen then you have a peace of mind peace but then that's just work organization if you learn how to organize your life uh, the priority uh, what's important what's not important just chatting with your friend yes it's important but in the long run it does really no no good for you friend comes and friends go you know it's they're your friend today they might not be your friend uh, tomorrow a few years from now and in the end is still you so if you're depending on your friend to be happy and when your friend's gone you're done and if you're depending on your hobby let's say fishing to make you happy what if one day you can't fish then you're not happy so being alone and not fishing drive you insane movies the same way too you you watch one series after the next series next episode you get so well and it makes you really happy you know you you with a movie when the movie ends you're done for you feel so sad what no more movies so you got to go watch the next movie or the next series see to be happy we depending on a lot of stuff so if you understand to be alone is very valuable then you understand that there's nothing to be worried about because with movie, with not movie, you're still happy, you're still you. you there's thing you can do, you know, with friends, great, with no fun, okay too. So if you learn how to uh, organize your life the proper way, way what's important to you, and in the end, most important thing to you is time. How much time we have left. Every day is ticking, every day is ticking. And if you spend one minute for yourself, that's good, you know. So if you spend five minutes for yourself, that's even better. But a lot of time, we don't have time for ourselves. It's always, you know, responsibility, children, family, duty, cooking, cleaning, working, schedule. So much stuff happening in our life. And if you understand how much of it is for you, not much and day gets passed by and year gets 
gone by and pretty soon you're old, you know. So even if you're old, there's still a lot of time left. If you learn how to see that every minute is precious, use that minute for yourself, then if that's for yourself, then being alone will let you do what you need to do. With someone hanging around making a mess of things, and you making a mess of things, nothing gets done. So we learn how to be peaceful and calm and clear. Um, if you practice meditation, it's great. You learn you how to see things clearly, so then you, you don't mess up. You know, sometimes when you becoming by yourself, you can still mess up. You don't really enjoy the whole idea of being alone. You you start incorporating things. Then the idea of being alone is not really alone because you're here, but then you start thinking about all your friends and all the stuff going on. That's that's not really being alone, you know. So it's important to learn how to be alone. It's kind of like, like I was saying, if you want to go to the movie, learn to be by yourself so you can enjoy the movie. There's the Avenger, Godzilla versus King Kong. If you're by yourself and you learn to shut off the world, and then you're only watching the movie, it's a great movie. But if you on your phone and you're texting, you're talking to your friends, and you're eating chips, and a lot of the movie you don't get. You know, it may be an hour movie, maybe two hour movie, but it's done. And then you get to get back into your real world and your life and your schedule and your children. So, see that movie is all you have. So being alone is important because you understand that this life is all you have, and pretty soon it's it's over. And we don't know when it's over. You know, sometimes people don't wake up. And today is all you have. Sometimes even less. So time is so precious. It's, it's more valuable than gold. Yes, gold you can buy stuff, you can pay rent, you can do all that. It's wonderful. But if on the day that you know you're gonna leave, and the doctors say you have a month left, what's more important, having gold or having time with your family or your friend? Or you, or your cooking, or your craft, or your the book you have never read, and thing you haven't done, haven't seen. So yes, money is great, goal is great, but that can only get you so far. But if you don't use it, it's it's just a tool. You know, money, goal, and all that possession is just a tool. You got to use it to benefit you. You don't want to use it to benefit you, but then you bring it on someone else. And that bad person can ruin your whole journey. It's like going on a perfect vacation, and you bring someone along, and you think it's a great company, and then they nag about everything, about the heat, the weather, why they bring you, why you bring them there, and, and so on and so on. And even though it's a very great vaca- vacation, and yes, you have money, you pay for it, but because you wasn't able to be alone, and you don't have the peace, you couldn't enjoy it. Then, then life goes on. Eventually, it will end. You know, we have a limited of fun, limited of time, limited of everything. You know, so being alone is great. You can stretch a minute longer and understand within that minute the importance of it. Then you can learn how to stretch a day because you're alone, you're aware, and you can see stuff that's really what it is. Like if you garden, you plant the seed, and you just watch it grow. It's so much peaceful, you know. You, you understand the connection with nature. It takes time, and during that time, nothing's happening. But it's all kinds of wonderful things. If you're alone, you learn to shut off the world around you, and just go inside and pay attention to yourself. There's so much stuff happening in here, but you can only do that if you're alone. And you're quiet. It's kind of like trying to study. There's so much stuff happening in the book, you know. And if you don't have the time to enjoy it, to read it, to learn about it, you didn't really do much with the socialization. You didn't really do much with the studying. You do half of it and half of it, and sometimes half bad and half bad grade. So if you can just focus all energy into one subject, you do a little bit better. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yes, you might want to have some time with your friend. Yes, you might want some time 
um, to do this and that. But don't mix it with time for yourself. Time for yourself is so important. It's, it's for you. It's not for your friends, not your family. Uh, even though they're very important to you, they are. But you have to have yourself your own time, your own freedom to do what you really wanted to do. And just for you. And uh, it took me a long time to realize it because um, I was pretty busy with friends. That kept me happy so much. You know, time passed by. Uh, when you're young, you want to grow up fast. And, and so you, you keep yourself busy with all the video games and all that stuff and all your friends. And the end, friends gone. And the end, video game, you get bored. You, you're level up to 100, level 200. What more to do? You're still waiting for them to produce the, the next World of Warcraft or something. And then you've been waiting, you know. And all that time is taking your life away. Then you realize, gee, what have I done? Really nothing. I just do everything that everybody want me to do. And the thing that I want to do, I have never done because I don't know what I want to do because I never explore into that uh, subject, you know. Then I found out that later on, uh, my, my passion is in cooking, you know. And now I start cooking all kinds of wonderful recipes, but it takes time to make it better. Every single time I cook, I make it better. I learn different recipes. The time that I'm cooking is for me to enjoy what I cook, to, to know that I'm accomplished something that's just for me. Even though people don't like my cooking, they're like, oh, it's too spicy, oh, it's too sweet. Doesn't matter, it's just for me, you know. I don't want to cook for them. They can cook, they can eat my food. They so, without the time to be alone, you wouldn't be able to understand what you're capable of. You wouldn't understand that what you really want. A lot of times it's not what you want in life, it's what they want in life. And you're trying to fulfill a big basket. In the end, you're like, wow, I haven't done anything for myself. And because you have not done anything for yourself, you don't know what you're missing because you never really look for it. It's really basic, but sometimes we don't understand it and it scares the hell out of us, you know. It's trying to uh, driving you insane because sometimes people say being alone is like loser, you have no friends. But you choose to have no friends. You choose to when you want to hang out. You choose to win the time for your family, you know, it's, it's an option. Um, don't get into the idea of saying, you know how sometimes the glass is half full and half empty. Don't see it like that. Don't see it like being alone is half full or half empty. That's going to drive you nuts. See it for what it is. How much water is in the glass. How you can use it. How can you use that water to grow stuff. How can you use that water to benefit yourself. Time is like that. It's, it's not half full or half empty or being alone is not great or it's not, not great. It's see it for what it is. It is being alone. And how you gonna use it to your most advantage. It's for you. It's a skill, it's a thing. Um, milk it dry, you know. There are a lot of times you're not alone. Sometimes there are times I've been so busy, I've been working and dealing with people. Like 16 hours a day for days and days and days and years. Then you really understand what it means to be alone and you really want to be alone because just having five minutes of alone time, wow. But if you have too much of it, you get scared. Don't get scared because it's like an empty book. You can learn to fill it, learn to make your schedule full. You might have an empty schedule because your schedule was so full back then when you're working now you retire and you have an open schedule <laughs> learn to fill it up but fill it up with what you want to do you know it's for you that's what it means to be alone is to be alone is to be alone for you now if you've been alone and you're not happy okay well that's because you're linking yourself with someone else or a certain thing a certain object now if you learn how to disconnect everything just the word alone, see it as a positive thing. See it as how much you can milk it. Don't see it as half full, half empty. 
there's so much stuff we learn when we're young and it just mess you up and uh, and that's why it's, it's more about fear and really understanding what it means to be alive the life life is short life is limited time being alone will let you explore that option if you find this video um, good if you like it uh, please subscribe and share tell a friend hopefully we can help each other help people around us uh, help people who are alone right now and depressed uh, because sometimes they don't see it you know and it takes someone to point them in the right direction and hopefully that will do it with the right word with the right video sometimes it takes me a long time just to understand what the word is and even though it's painted to you you read about it it doesn't click so hopefully if this video can help someone please share and subscribe thank you see you next time